Beef, Wikipedia article audio. Beef is the culinary name for meat from cattle, particularly skeletal muscle. Humans have been eating beef since prehistoric times. Beef is a source of high-quality protein and essential nutrients. Beef skeletal muscle meat can be used as is by merely cutting into certain parts roasts, short ribs or steak, while other cuts are processed. Trimmings, on the other hand, are usually mixed with meat from older, leaner cattle, are ground, minced or used in sausages. The blood is used in some varieties called blood sausage. Other parts that are eaten include other muscles and offal, such as the oxtail, liver, tongue, tripe from the reticulum or rumen, glands, the heart, the brain, the kidneys, and the tender testicles of the bull. Some intestines are cooked and eaten as is, but are more often cleaned and used as natural sausage casings. The bones are used for making beef stock. Etymology History Beef from steers and heifers is similar. Depending on economics, the number of heifers kept for breeding varies. The meat from older bulls, because it is usually tougher, is frequently used for mince. Cattle raised for beef may be allowed to roam free on grasslands, or may be confined at some stage in pens as part of a large feeding operation called a feedlot, where they are usually fed a ration of grain, protein, roughage, and a vitamin-slash-mineral pre-blend. Beef is the third most widely consumed meat in the world, accounting for about 25% of meat production worldwide, after pork and poultry at 38% and 30% respectively. In absolute numbers, the United States, Brazil, and the People's Republic of China are the world's three largest consumers of beef. Uruguay, however, has the highest beef and veal consumption per capita, followed by Argentina and Brazil. According to the data from OECD, the average Uruguayan ate over 42 kilograms of beef or veal in 2014 representing the highest beef-slash-veal consumption per capita in the world. In comparison, the average American consumed only about 24 kilograms beef or veal in the same year, while African countries, such as Mozambique, Ghana, and Nigeria, consumed the least beef or veal per capita. Cows are considered sacred in the Hinduism and most observant Hindus who do eat meat almost always abstain from beef. In 2015, the world's largest exporters of beef were India, Brazil, and Australia. Beef production is also important to the economies of Uruguay, Canada, Paraguay, Mexico, Argentina, Belarus, and Nicaragua. The word beef is from the Latin bs, in contrast to cow which is from Middle English coo. After the Norman conquest, the French-speaking nobles who ruled England naturally used French words to refer to the meats they were served. Thus, various Anglo-Saxon words were used for the animal by the peasants, but the meat was called both by the French nobles who did not often deal with the live animal when it was served to them. This is one example of the common English dichotomy between the words for animals and their meat that is also found in such English word pairs as pig slash pork, deer slash venison, sheep slash mutton and chicken slash poultry. Beef is cognate with bovine through the late Latin bovness. Farming of beef cattle People have eaten the flesh of bovines from prehistoric times. Some of the earliest known cave paintings, such as those of Lascaux, show aurochs in hunting scenes. People domesticated cattle around 8000 BC to provide ready access to beef, milk, and leather. Most cattle originated in the Old World, with the exception of bison hybrids, which originated in the Americas. 
Examples include the Weiji from Japan, Ankali Watusi from Egypt, and Longhorn Zebu from the Indian subcontinent. It is unknown exactly when people started cooking beef. Cattle were widely used across the Old World as draft animals, for milk, or specifically for human consumption. With the mechanization of farming, some breeds were specifically bred to increase meat yield, resulting in Chianina and Cherolet cattle, or to improve the texture of meat, giving rise to the Murray Gray, Angus, and Weiji. Some breeds have been selected for both meat and milk production, such as the Brown Swiss. Cuts In the United States, the growth of the beef business was largely due to expansion in the Southwest. Upon the acquisition of grasslands through the Mexican-American War of 1848, and later the expulsion of the Plains Indians from this region and the Midwest, the American livestock industry began, starting primarily with the taming of wild longhorn cattle. Chicago and New York City were the first to benefit from these developments in their stockyards and in their meat markets. Beef cattle are raised and fed using a variety of methods, including feedlots, free-range, ranching, backgrounding and intensive animal farming. Typically, the production of one pound of cooked beef requires 27 pounds of fodder, over 200 U.S. gal of water and nearly 300 square feet of land. Beef is first divided into primal cuts, pieces of meat initially separated from the carcass during butchering. These are basic sections from which steaks and other subdivisions are cut. The term primal cut is quite different from prime cut, used to characterize cuts considered to be of higher quality. Since the animal's legs and neck muscles do the most work, they are the toughest, the meat becomes more tender as distance from hoof and horn increases. Different countries and cuisines have different cuts and names, and sometimes use the same name for a different cut, for example, the cut described as brisket in the United States is from a significantly different part of the carcass than British brisket. Special Beef Designations Some certifications are based upon the way the cattle are treated fed and or slaughtered. Breed and Origin Based Designations Some standards are based upon the inspected quality of the meat after slaughter. Process Based Designations Countries regulate the marketing and sale of beef by observing criteria post-slaughter and classifying the observed quality of the meat. This classification, sometimes optional, can suggest a market demand for a particular animal's attributes and therefore the price owed to the producer. To improve tenderness of beef, it is often aged to allow endogenous proteolytic enzymes to weaken structural and myofibrillar proteins. Wet aging is accomplished using vacuum packaging to reduce spoilage and yield loss. Dry aging involves hanging primals in humidity-controlled coolers. Outer surfaces dry out and can support growth of molds, resulting in trim and evaporative losses. Output-based standards Evaporation concentrates the remaining proteins and increases flavor intensity, the molds can contribute a nut-like flavor. After two to three days there are significant effects. The majority of the tenderizing effect occurs in the first ten days. Boxed beef, stored and distributed in vacuum packaging, is, in effect, wet aged during distribution. Premium steak houses dry age for 21 to 28 days or wet age up to 45 days for maximum effect on flavor and tenderness. Meat from less tender cuts or older cattle can be mechanically tenderized by forcing small, sharp blades through the cuts to disrupt the proteins. Also, 
solutions of exogenous proteolytic enzymes can be injected to augment the endogenous enzymes. Similarly, solutions of salt and sodium phosphates can be injected to soften and swell the myofibrillar proteins. This improves juiciness and tenderness. Salt can improve the flavor, but phosphate can contribute a soapy flavor. These methods are applicable to all types of meat and some other foodstuffs. Beef can be cooked to various degrees, from very rare to well done. The degree of cooking corresponds to the temperature in the approximate center of the meat, which can be measured with a meat thermometer. Beef can be cooked using the sous vide method, which cooks the entire steak to the same temperature but when cooked using a method such as broiling or roasting it is typically cooked such that it has a bull's eye of doneness, with the least done at the center and the most done at the outside. Meat can be cooked in boiling oil, typically by shallow frying, although deep frying may be used, often for meat enrobed with breadcrumbs as in mylanes. Larger pieces such as steaks may be cooked this way or meat may be cut smaller as in stir-frying, typically an Asian way of cooking. Cooking oil with flavorings such as garlic, ginger, and onions is put in a very hot wok. Then small pieces of meat are added, followed by ingredients which cook more quickly, such as mixed vegetables. The dish is ready when the ingredients are just cooked. Beef grating Moist heat cooking methods include braising, pot roasting, stewing, and sous vide. These techniques are often used for cuts of beef that are tougher, as these longer, lower temperature cooking methods have time to dissolve connecting tissue which otherwise makes meat remain tough after cooking. Aging and tenderization Meat has usually been cooked in water which is just simmering such as in stewing, higher temperatures make meat tougher by causing the proteins to contract. Since thermostatic temperature control became available, cooking at temperatures well below boiling, 52 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius, for prolonged periods has become possible, this is just hot enough to convert the tough collagen in connective tissue into gelatin through hydrolysis with minimal toughening. Grass-fed beef cattle have been raised exclusively on forage. Grain-fed beef cattle are raised primarily on forage, but are finished in a feedlot. Halal beef has been certified to have been processed in a prescribed manner in accordance with Muslim dietary laws. Kosher beef has been certified to have been processed in a prescribed manner in accordance with Jewish dietary laws. Organic beef is produced without added hormones, pesticides, or other chemicals, though requirements for labeling it organic vary widely. With the adequate combination of temperature and cooking time, pathogens, such as bacteria will be killed, and pasteurization can be achieved. Because browning can only occur at higher temperatures, these moist techniques do not develop the flavors associated with browning. Meat will often undergo searing in a very hot pan, grilling or browning with a torch before moist cooking. Thermostatically controlled methods, such as sous vide, can also prevent overcooking by bringing the meat to the exact degree of doneness desired, and holding it at that temperature indefinitely. The combination of precise temperature control and long cooking duration makes it possible to be assured that pasteurization has been achieved, both on the surface and the interior of even very thick cuts of meat, which cannot be assured with most other cooking techniques. Stewing or Simmering Beef can be cooked quickly at the table through several techniques. In hot pot cooking, such as shabu shabu, very thinly sliced meat is cooked by the diners at the table by immersing it in a heated pot of water or stock with vegetables. In fondue bourguignon, 
diners dip small pieces of beef into a pot of hot oil at the table. Both techniques typically feature accompanying flavorful sauces to complement the meat. Cooking and Preparation Dry Heat Internal Temperature Frying Steak tartar is a French dish made from finely chopped or ground raw meat. More accurately, it is scraped so as not to let even the slightest of the sinew fat get into the scraped meat. It is often served with onions, capers, seasonings such as fresh ground pepper and Worcestershire sauce, and sometimes raw egg yolk. January 2011 one great burger expands recall, February 2011, American Food Service, a Pico Rivera, California establishment, is recalling approximately 3,170 pounds of fresh ground beef patties and other bulk packages of ground beef products that may be contaminated with E. coli 0157H7, March 2011. 14,000 pounds beef recalled by Creekstone Farms Premium Beef due to E. coli concerns, April 2011, National Beef Packaging recalled more than 60,000 pounds of ground beef due to E. coli contamination. May 2011, Irish Hills Meat Company of Michigan, a Tipton, Michigan, establishment is recalling approximately 900 pounds of ground beef products that may be contaminated with E. coli 0157 H7, September 2011, Tyson Fresh Meats recalled 131,100 pounds of ground beef due to E. coli contamination, December 2011. Tyson Fresh Meats recalled 40,000 pounds of ground beef due to E. coli contamination, January 2012, Hannaford Supermarkets recalled all ground beef with sell-by dates December 17, 2011 or earlier, September 2012. XL Foods recalled more than 1,800 products believed to be contaminated with E. coli 0157H7. The recalled products were produced at the company's plant in Brooks, Alberta, Canada. This was the largest recall of its kind in Canadian history. The Belgian or Dutch dish filet American is also made of finely chopped ground beef, though it is seasoned differently and either eaten as a main dish or can be used as a dressing for a sandwich. Kibeneiya is a similar Lebanese and Syrian dish. And in Ethiopia, a ground raw meat dish called tyrsiga or kitfo is eaten. Carpaccio of beef is a thin slice of raw beef dressed with olive oil, lemon juice, and seasoning. Often, the beef is partially frozen before slicing to allow very thin slices to be cut. Yuk ho is a variety of ho, raw dishes in Korean cuisine which is usually made from raw ground beef seasoned with various spices or sauces. The beef part used for yuk ho is tender rump steak. For the seasoning, soy sauce, sugar, salt, sesame oil, green onion, and ground garlic sesame seed, black pepper and juice of bee are used. The beef is mostly topped with the yolk of a raw egg. In May 2003, after a cow with BSE was discovered in Alberta, Canada, the American border was closed to live Canadian cattle, but was reopened in early 2005. In June 2005 Dr. John Clifford Chief Veterinary Officer for the United States Department of Agriculture Animal Health Inspection Service, confirmed a fully domestic case of BSE in Texas. Clifford would not identify the ranch, calling that privileged information. The 12 year old animal was alive at the time when Oprah Winfrey raised concerns about cannibalistic feeding practices on her show, which aired April 16, 1996. Bresaola is an air dried, 
salted beef that has been aged about two to three months until it becomes hard and a dark red, almost purple, color. It is lean, has a sweet, musty smell and is tender. It originated in Valtellina, a valley in the Alps of northern Italy's Lombardy region. Bund Nerfalisk is a similar product from neighboring Switzerland. Chipped beef is an American industrially produced air-dried beef product, described by one of its manufacturers as being similar to Bresaola, but not as tasty. Beef jerky is dried, salted, smoked beef popular in the United States. Biltong is a cured, salted, air-dried beef popular in South Africa. Moist heat Pastrami is often made from beef, raw beef is salted, then partly dried and seasoned with various herbs and spices, and smoked. Corned beef is a cut of beef cured or pickled in a seasoned brine. The corn in corned beef refers to the grains of coarse salts used to cure it. The term corned beef can denote different styles of brine cured beef, depending on the region. Some, like American style corned beef, are highly seasoned and often considered delicatessen fare. Spiced beef is a cured and salted joint of round, topside, or silver side, traditionally served at Christmas in Ireland. It is a form of salt beef, cured with spices and salt petri, intended to be boiled or broiled in Guinness or a similar stout and then optionally roasted for a period after. There are various other recipes for pickled beef. Sour Braten is a German variant. Raw Beef Cured, smoked, and dried beef Religious Prohibitions Most Hindus consider killing cattle and eating beef a sin. However, they do not consider the cow to be a god and they do not worship it. Bovines have a sacred status in India especially the cow, from the idealization due to their provision of sustenance for families. Bovines are generally considered to be integral to the landscape. In Hinduism, the entire cosmic creation is considered to be sacred and are venerated like celestial bodies such as sun moon to fig trees and rivers like Ganga, Saraswati, etc. India as a developing country, many of its rural area economies depend upon cattle farming, hence they have been revered in the society. From Vedic period's role of cattle, especially cows, as a source of milk, and dairy products, and their relative importance in transport services and farming like plowing, row planting, ridging, and weeding made people to revere the importance of cow in their daily lives, and this rose with the advent of Jainism and Gupta period. Lack of secular tolerance and caste politics has also given birth to Hindu right-wing vigilante cow protection groups. Conflicts over cow slaughter often have sparked religious riots that has led to loss of human life and in an 1893 riot alone, more than 100 people were killed for the cause. A. N. Bose in Social and Rural Economy of Northern India says any taboo or the cow worship itself is a relatively recent development in India. The sacred white cow is considered as the abode of cores of 33 type Hindu deities. Products of cow's milk like curd, butter, cheese, milk sweets are sold commercially and used in religious rituals. For religious reasons the ancient Egyptian priests also refrained from consuming beef. Buddhists and Sikhs are also against wrongful slaughtering of animals but they don't have a wrongful eating doctrine. In the indigenous American tradition a white buffalo calf is considered sacred, they call it Pte Skawin. During the season of Lent, Orthodox Christians and Catholics give up all meat and poultry as a religious act. 
observant Jews and Muslims may not eat any meat or poultry which has not been slaughtered and treated in conformance with religious laws. India is one of the biggest exporters of beef. Though some states of India impose various types of prohibition on beef prompted by religious aspects that are fueled by caste and religion-based politics. Hindu religious scripts do not condemn consumption of beef and experts concur. However certain Hindu castes and sects continue to avoid beef from their diets. In 2017, a rule against the slaughter of cattle and the eating of beef was signed into law by presidential assent as a modified version of Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act, 1960. The original act, however, does permit the humane slaughter of animals for use as food. Legal Prohibition Existing meat export policy in India prohibits the export of beef. Bone-in meat, a carcass, or half-carcass of buffalo is also prohibited from export. Only the boneless meat of buffalo, meat of goat and sheep and birds is permitted for export. In 2017, India sought a total beef ban and Australian market analysts predicted that this would create market opportunities for leather traders and meat producers there and elsewhere. Their predicted estimates claim a 20% shortage of beef and a 13% shortage of leather in the world market. In 2003, Cuba banned cow slaughter due to severe shortage of milk and milk products. Beef is a source of complete protein and it is a rich source of niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, iron, phosphorus and zinc. Red meat is the most significant dietary source of carnitine and, like any other meat, is a source of creatine. Creatine is converted to creatinine during cooking. Excessive consumption of red processed meat is known to increase the risk of bowel cancer and some other cancers. The Harvard School of Public Health recommends consumers eat red meat sparingly as it has high levels of undesirable saturated fat. This recommendation is not without controversy, though. Another study from the Harvard School of Public Health appearing in circulation found consumption of processed meats, but not red meats, is associated with higher incidence of coronary heart disease and diabetes mellitus. This finding tended to confirm an earlier meta-analysis of the nutritional effects of saturated fat in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition which found prospective epidemiologic studies showed that there is no significant evidence for concluding that dietary saturated fat is associated with an increased risk of coronary heart disease or cardiovascular disease. More data are needed to elucidate whether cardiovascular disease risks are likely to be influenced by the specific nutrients used to replace saturated fat. Some cattle raised in the United States feed on pastures fertilized with sewage sludge. Elevated dioxins may be present in meat from these cattle. Ground beef has been subject to recalls in the United States due to Escherichia coli contamination. In 1984, the use of meat and bone meal in cattle feed resulted in the world's first outbreak of bovine spongiform encephalopathy in the United Kingdom. Since then, other countries have had outbreaks of BSE. India Cuba In 2010, the EU through the European Food Safety Authority, proposed a roadmap to gradually lift the restrictions on the feed ban. EU Regulation No. 999-2001 had outlined a complete ban on feeding mammal-based products to cattle. A regulation that modified Annex 4 of 999-2001, was published in 2013 that allowed for certain milk, fish, eggs, and plant-fed farm animal products to be used. 
Top 5 Cattle and Beef Exporting Countries 2016 Nutrition and Health Beef exports, including buffalo meat, in metric tons. Health concerns. Recalls. Mad cow disease. World producers. Top 10 cattle and beef producing countries. Beef production. National cattle herds.